Hello everyone, David Lee here. Today I want to talk about a project I uh, implemented that helps students understand the importance of rapid iterative cycles. Basically, trying to teach them the motto, fail fast to learn faster. Earlier this year, I got to work with Teresa Smith's class on an engineering project. It was similar to the project I showcased in a video a couple of years ago, where students got to complete Mars simulation tests to see if they could be the next Mars astronauts. For this engineering project, we worked on the EDL simulation. EDL stands for the Entry, Descent, and Landing of a Mars Rover. Basically, it was the egg drop challenge where students took on the role of engineers, and the egg represented the Mars Rover. They had to create a spacecraft that would keep the rover intact when dropped from our three-story building. Now, like I said before, the purpose of the project was to have students uh, learn about the motto, fail fast to learn faster. What this means is that rapid iterative cycles and improvements um, help students to learn faster uh, within the context of the design challenge to ultimately produce better products. Students started with a large quantity of sketches, then a blueprint of their prototype they wanted to build. Quickly built a low-res prototype to then quickly test it out. Low-res prototypes are preliminary models made from basic materials built to gain information quickly and to speed up the progression of a design. Rapid iterative cycles consisted of students quickly building a low-res prototype and then immediately testing out their spacecraft off the drop test station, analyzing their results through their video recording of the test, identifying failure points, and fixing these failure points to improve the prototype with additional adjustments, and then testing again, doing it all over again multiple times. The more rapid iterations, the better. Here's an example I used to explain the motto to my students. Here's Roger. Here's Becca. Both Roger and Becca are tasked to design a paper airplane that can fly a far distance. They needed to create this in three hours. Roger is a perfectionist. He likes to create things as good as it can possibly be and doesn't like to show his work or have people try out his designs until he feels it is perfect. Becca is similar in that she likes to create things as best as possible. However, she uses rapid iterative cycles for her designs. After the three hours, Roger created a pretty cool airplane. He made sure to think about all the things that might go wrong in a test and made the appropriate builds to prevent any complications during a test. Since he spent the whole three hours perfecting his airplane, he only had time to test his airplane once at the end. It flew pretty well, but he did identify a few failure points. But he had no more time to actually make any adjustments. Becca, however, made an airplane prototype in the first 15 minutes. It didn't look great, but it was ready to be tested. Her first test didn't go too well, but she was able to identify failure points. For the next 20 minutes, she made improvements to her airplane. She then quickly tested her airplane to identify more failure points. For 20 minutes, she made improvements to fix these failure points. In three hours, she was able to test her airplane seven times, seven opportunities to learn failure points, and six opportunities to improve her design. As a result, she found that her airplane flew farther than Roger's airplane. Both participants had the same amount of time, but Becca was able to learn more and make more improvements to create a better airplane prototype. What made me make this video uh, were the results of the project. Uh, at the end of the project, I asked students to raise their hand if they were successful during the descent and landing 
uh, testing. What I found was that uh, the ones that were raising their hands actually tested frequently. They used the rapid iterative cycles. And we found that majority of the people who weren't very successful only got to test one or two times. Focusing more of their time of just prototyping and not testing, um, trying to make things perfect. But without testing and finding out what worked and what didn't work, they did not learn as much as the teams who tested frequently. So within the same time frame, uh, the teams that used the rapid iterative cycles uh, had better results. What's great about the motto is that it could be applied to really any type of situation and context, but especially in education. Whether a student is writing an essay or a teacher is applying a new best instructional practice or a school is planning to implement a new initiative, Rapid iteration cycles of creation, testing, and improvement can lead to better results. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you checking out my content. Um, special thanks to my friend Chris Smith for doing the animation for this video. Make sure you check him out on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, peace.